Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about angles outside the circle theorem. So if we think about two non-parallel lines that intersect on a circle or intersect a circle, there's really three intersection points that could happen, right? These two lines could intersect on the circle, they could intersect inside the circle, or what we're gonna talk about in this video, they could intersect outside the circle. So let's talk about our theorem and let's look at some examples and solve some problems. So our theorem just states that we could have, you know, really three instances here. We could have a tangent and a secant that are intersecting. We could have two tangents that are intersecting, or we could have two secants that are intersecting, and they're gonna intersect outside the circle. When this happens, the measure of the angle that's formed, so like in our diagrams here, this would be angle one, angle two, and angle three. That's what we're talking about by the measure of the angle formed. It is one half the difference of the measures of the intercepted arcs. So let's take a look at these three diagrams that we have because these are the three scenarios or the three cases that we could see. So our first one here, we have a tangent, which is in yellow, and we have a secant, which is in white. So to find the measure of angle one, we look down here, and we would just take half of the difference of arc BC and arc AC. So we're gonna subtract in that order. So measure of arc BC minus the measure of arc AC, we'll take half of that and that'll give us the measure of angle one. Now, if we look at the next diagram here, we have two tangents and we're gonna try to find angle two. So that would just be the measure of major arc DFE minus the measure of minor arc DE. And then we would take half of that. And the last one, we have two secants. So to find the measure of angle three, we would take half of the difference of arc HI and arc GJ. All right, so let's look at a couple examples where we apply this theorem. So example one, um, pretty straightforward. We uh, wanna find what X is equal to. So we're just gonna say X is equal to one half, and we're going to subtract the two intercepted arcs, okay? So now we're gonna do 178 minus 76, and that gives us 102. And now we're gonna take half of 102, so we divide that by two, and we get x is equal to 51 degrees, okay? All right, now number two, we wanna find the measure of one of these intercepted arcs. So we know the degree measure already is 35 for our angle. So 35 is equal to one half, and it is 100 minus x. Okay, so now we just wanna solve for x. So let's multiply both sides of this by two, because that's gonna get rid of our one half. So now we have 70 is equal to 100 minus x. Let's subtract 100. So we get negative 30 is equal to negative x. So if we divide by negative one there, we get x is equal to 30 degrees. All right, in our last example, uh, we have to apply a little bit here, come up with uh, a number that's not there. Well, here we have two tangents that are intersecting our circle. So our arc that we're given is 125 degrees, which means we have a major arc right here. And to find the measure of that major arc, we could just subtract 125 degrees from 360 degrees because we know the entire circle would be 360. So we can do 360 minus 125, and that gives us 235 degrees. And now we have an expression, 6x minus 11, that's representing our angle measure. So we can write our equation, 6x minus 11 is equal to one half of 235 minus 125. So 6x minus 11 equals one half, and 235 minus 125 would be 110. And now we're gonna take half of 110, so 6x minus 11 equals 55. Let's add 11 to both sides. We get 6x equals 66. And now when we divide both sides by six, we get X is equal to 11, okay? And that is how you solve some problems uh, with the angles outside the circle theorem. <laughs>